that's right. All right, y'all, so uh, today is going to be body cleanup day for me and Clay. We uh, about to walk down to the river, take us a bath, get all shaved up. We did not go hunting this evening because it is hot. Hot, hot. Start speeding up. So, uh, yeah. We'll be, we will be back in the morning. But today's going to be body cleanup because I haven't had a shower in like, I don't know, four or five days. Been just uh, flopping down with lights. Doesn't work that good. So, yeah. That is today's plan, and we will see you all in the morning. Well, I guess this is a good time to do my interview. <laughs> it's uh, October 10th, about 9.30 in the morning now. I just had a really big body deer blow and run off. All I could see was the body, but it, it was a big body. I don't really understand it because I did everything right. Came to my spot, upwind, went around, didn't leave my scent in. The wind was blowing right in my face from the direction of the deer blowing. I don't really know what happened there. I mean, maybe I got a swirl. Maybe the wind swirled a little bit. But uh, anyway, yeah, we came in yesterday and we, uh, we found a rub line a uh, pretty good rub line here that's where i'm set up but uh so far clay he's sitting a few hundred yards away and uh he saw a doe that was headed my way that never made its way here but real slow movement they've been moving a lot at night but uh we're getting we're getting warmer we're getting a little bit more deer action uh feel pretty confident we're going to make something happen, so we'll see. But, uh, game plan is head back out of here, get some lunch at camp, and, uh, we'll be back out this evening to, uh, make another sit. I've got to go, I'm going to hang a camera over on a really nice trail we found with a lot of buck tracks, so hang that there and kind of see what, see what's coming through there. I still still got a few more days of uh, deer camp left, so so yeah, surely something's gonna happen.
the morning hunt. Took a deer. Didn't see much. <clears throat> and then Clay decided we're fixing to go on a pig recon. Just because we're getting tired of not shooting anything. So we're going to try to go shoot some pigs. And while doing that, we're going to do some scouting also. Kind of two birds with one stone type deal. So yeah, just out here looking for pigs. Killing time. Trying to get some dead gum deer located. Alright guys, so when we were coming in, we uh, found some good stuff. Decided to uh, go ahead and try to set up and hunt it for the evening. I got Clay over here in the chair in the I got Clay over here in his stand next to me in the tree next to me. I'm gonna try to get some good footage here. Let's rock. October 12th, we're, uh, we're out here for the morning hunt, I haven't seen much, we heard some pigs, that's about it, we haven't been seeing much at all, I don't know what's going on, this is about the, I think this is about the longest I've ever went without seeing a deer, <laughs> but uh, we took yesterday off, just to kind of rest, go take showers, all that good stuff. Back out here now for a few more days. And uh, we're going to try to get something laid down. If not, hey, having a good time anyway.
Did you make a good shot? Yeah. Pretty sure we just got another pick down. Last day for deer camp. <laughs> Figured we'd pull y'all something off. Man, we've been working hard for these deer. They, mm, we just, uh, we just hadn't made it happen on the deer. But, uh, hey, got a little bit of pig action for y'all. But yeah, that was pretty cool. I, I know I couldn't really get it on film for you guys because they were down in that low spot. And those pigs are just hard to see because they're so dark. But we're going to uh, give it a few minutes, get our stuff packed up. Go see if we can't find her. There we get her right there. So that pig was standing right here. There's Lara. And you can see the kind of a window I had right there. So here's here's the arrow. There's Clay's stand. He was right up there. He didn't have much of a <laughs> He didn't have much room. Squeeze it through there. Blood spackle. Good shooting though. When you're hungry, you shoot good. <laughs> That's true. We're starting to run out of hot dog weenies, ain't we? That's right. <laughs> Oscar Meyer ain't made a drop off in a minute. <laughs> well, let's go find her. She's running right through here, huh? Yeah, there's a blood speck there. She's going right through here. 